Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, my name's Ollie and I run an Instagram account called O2 Cooks and Eats, uh, which is just up there. Um, if you've tuned into one of these before, then welcome back. If not, then I'll drill you in. Uh, I am partnering with Hearts SU to show you how to make lots of lovely, delicious, hopefully quite accessible, tasty recipes. Um, tonight we're gonna do a lovely prawn and white wine spaghetti dish. Really, really simple, uh, but super tasty. So I will show you the ingredients now. So it's a really simple recipe today. Uh, ingredients wise, very, very easy. So we've got a couple of cloves of garlic. Uh, we've got some cherry tomatoes as well. Uh, some chili flakes, uh, which we're gonna kind of infuse in the oil with the garlic. We're gonna use the zest and juice of a lemon. Uh, we've got these uh, king prawns, these are actually frozen ones, and I'll show you a little trick for how to kind of defrost them fairly quickly. Uh, got some flat leaf parsley, some bucatini, uh, I'm using bucatini, but you can use spaghetti, uh, and some white wine. First things first, we want to get a large pan of water up to the boil, so you can see there I've got a big pan, um, it's already kind of got a little head start, I'm just going to top that up, and um, we want it to be a really large pan to uh, avoid the pasta sticking to each other. So we're going to start off with the water boiling uh, with our kind of uh, flavouring. So uh, we've got some garlic here. I'd probably go for about two or three cloves, just very, very finely sliced. Um, you can kind of chop it or you can mince it. It's completely up to you. It's about texture and preference. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of put that in the pan with some olive oil cold to start off with and bring it up to heat to kind of infuse that olive oil along with the chilli flakes as well. And it's going to give a really nice kind of background flavour. And really important step here that we want to do, we want to add lots of salt to the pasta water. So um, you really want to be generous with this, a good few kind of handfuls, especially when you're using a lot of water like this. Should be as salty as the ocean apparently, and that's going to be really important in seasoning the pasta. So personally for me in this dish, I kind of like little thin slices of garlic. So just pop it out of this jacket and remove the heel. And you just want to make sure that you're slicing this nice and thinly, all roughly around the same thickness. And that's almost going to kind of melt into that oil. So I've just started to bring the pan up to here. I've put plenty of uh, extra virgin olive oil in there. That's kind of going to form the base of the sauce and it's going to be what sort of infuses with the garlic. Um, I'd go for maybe three or four cloves here. A lot of people will add like, you know, six cloves of garlic because they think it's really funny and it tastes delicious. Less is more here. So two or three cloves um, and uh, in that goes to a, essentially a cold pan. We're going to bring this up to heat along with the chili flakes in there. Um, go maybe a teaspoon, two teaspoons, depending on how spicy you want it. Uh, and that's essentially going to come up to the heat and infuse that oil and kind of, as I say, give a lovely background flavour to the sauce. So you can see that's at a very, very gentle heat. That's going to take a little while to come up. Keep watching it, but you can give that another minute or two. Um, we're now going to turn our attention to the prawns. So uh, I tend to buy um, these sort of raw uh, king prawns here. Um, and if you're anything like me and you always forget ahead of time to defrost them, a little trick is just to run them under some kind of like um, lukewarm water. Um, you don't want to go hot because it will start to cook them, but just lukewarm, give them a little toss around, they'll, uh, they'll defrost in no time. So this is one of the most important elements of the dish. The garlic is frying nicely here, but the second you let it go brown and start to burn, it will ruin the flavour of it. So keep an eye on it. As soon as it starts to go brown, we add in those tomatoes and we can add a little bit of the pasta water to stop it frying. So I'm going to try and do this with one hand, but you can see there that garlic is just starting to turn. So now we go in with the tomatoes um, and uh, a little bit of the water just from rinsing them. And then pretty much immediately we're going to deglaze with white wine. So I'll show you that in a second. And so now that garlic is just on the turn and we're going to go in with the white wine. And what that's going to do is it's immediately going to kind of stop it frying. Um, so in terms of how much there, maybe a generous glass, I'd say. Um, but as you can see, it's stopped frying now. Um, and uh, that's going to kind of, you want now to turn it up to a high heat and that alcohol is going to evaporate off. That wine will reduce and it'll go to a lovely kind of uh, sweet, silky flavour. I might have been a tad generous with the wine there, but I think during lockdown we all need uh, a little bit of help. Um, so you can see that heat has brought that rapidly to the boil, so that alcohol's evaporating nice and quickly. Uh, I just wanted to let you know, I'm using a, a Gavi uh, for a white wine, which is a kind of traditional Italian uh, white, um, but anything that's kind of a little bit more acidic um, and crisper rather than sweeter would be fine. So a Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Grigio, things like that um, would be absolutely fine. And try and spend as much money as you can afford on the wine, because it does make a difference. I'm now going to go 
going with my pasta. So that water's at a lovely rolling boil. Uh, I'm using bucatini, which hopefully you can see is like spaghetti with little holes in. Um, but spaghetti, linguine, um, pappardelle would be absolutely fine here. Um, I'm doing kind of four portions, so I'm going for about 500 grams for nice, uh, nice generous uh, portions. But yeah, you want to get that in, um, give it a stir around to avoid it sticking, uh, and bring that back up to the boil as quickly as possible. In terms of how long to cook this, I would say um, probably just shy of packet instructions. So for spaghetti, maybe seven, eight minutes. We're going to finish cooking it in the sauce, transfer some of that pasta water there to make, emulsify the sauce. It's a real treat. So when I talk about emulsifying the sauce, I'm essentially talking about the water and the fats joining together with heat to form this creamy, luxuriant sauce. You can see that wine's already juiced and the color there is wonderful. As Soon as we add some of that pasta water in there, it's gonna be brilliant. Pasta's boiling. Um, I've just taken that off the heat because it's kind of reduced to where I want it and that garlic is kind of blonde but not brown, which is absolutely spot on. Um, the prawns are defrosted, so we're now gonna turn our attention to the final flavorings of lemon and parsley. With the parsley, very rough chop. Uh, all we want to do is just scrunch it up. You can use the stalks as well. Stalks have a lot of flavor. And we just want to kind of finely chop through that once. Uh, and with the lemon, we're going to use the zest as well as the juice. So I've got a little microplane here, but a fine setting on a normal grater would be fine. And you want to go around and use the zest of the whole lemon, and then we'll kind of use as much juice as we need. So we'll taste it and adapt the seasoning as we go. The sauce is back on the heat now, uh, and only now am I going to add the prawns in. They really don't take very long to cook, so keep an eye on those. You'll see them change colour. They go from that grey to that pink fairly quickly, and you really don't want to overcook these, so just watch these two, three minutes, max. Do you see the prawns? They're changing colour from that grey to that pink. That's absolutely where we want them to be. Keep turning them. They'll only need another minute or so. That pasta is just short of being ready. Um, add the pasta in, and we're going to drag a lot of that pasta water with it. As well. Right, so those prawns are just shy of being cooked, which is absolutely perfect. We're now going to drag the pasta. You can see I'm lifting it with the tongs straight into the pan. This is still maybe a minute or so away from being cooked, but we're going to finish it in the pan. Again, that pasta water is going to really help to emulsify that sauce. We'll toss it together, uh, then we'll add the lemon zest and the parsley, taste the seasoning, and uh, we'll be ready to go. And if you're a numpty like me, you'll realize the pan you were using was slightly too small, so you can upgrade to a slightly bigger pan. But what we want to do here is toss it all together. This is where, as I say, that emulsification process of the fats and the oil and the water and the wine come together. So um, you can see the reason we drag it is we've then got loads of pasta water left. This starchy water is really important, so feed it some of that until you get the desired consistency. So that's coming together now and hopefully you can see that liquid in the pan is gone that lovely sort of golden colour and that's all of those things coming together. You can always add just a little touch more olive oil if you want to. Uh, but we're now going to go in with our parsley and our lemon zest. Then we're going to taste it and adjust the seasoning. And if you're feeling particularly fancy you can give it a little toss in the pan. It's a really good way to emulsify that sauce does make your cooker slightly dirty though uh, and we're good to serve up um, so I will show you how to plate um, so if you've seen the movie chef you'll know what I'm doing with these we want to essentially kind of twizzle the pasta in with a big spoon there and the aim here is to try and get lots of height the bucatini is making it quite difficult to do but you want to kind of plate it up and stand it on itself and just to emphasize that point about the sauce, that's the result of all of that lovely emulsification. Um, so as you can see, just plated it up there and just kind of did a few extra bits of parsley uh, and I will show you a picture of the final results. And finally, just a touch of salt on top, little twist of black pepper and a drizzle of olive oil. Uh, and there you have it, that is the kind of prawn and white wine spaghetti. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did give it a go, please do tag us in your recreations at HeartsSU and at OT Cooks and Eats. Uh, we'd love to see how you get on. But yeah, uh, if not, we will see you for the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.